Well, Shelley, they don't have anything structurally wrong with the Auburn Village School right now, but they do have some areas of concern up there on the roof that they want to take care of before they get any worse. So tomorrow they'll have a group of volunteers gathering here at 9 a.m. to get up on the roof and start shoveling snow off before the next storm arrives. On top of the Auburn Village School, there are spots where the snow is starting to pile up. Wanting to avoid the possibility of trouble, school officials decided to ask some contractors what it might cost to ease the load. They went out and got some quotes, tried to get some quotes, tried 15 different vendors. Uh, we only received uh, some quotes from a couple of them, anywhere between uh, 20 and $60,000. That was a bit steep, so Auburn put out the call for volunteers, and Saturday morning, a bring-your-own-shovel brigade will get the job done. For most schools, budgets are pretty tight, so we're lucky to live in a town where we say, hey, can you come help out the school, and people are, are willing to do it. It's certainly better than the alternative. In Milford Friday morning, administrators evacuated the high school due to snow load concerns. There, the superintendent says a teacher noticed a classroom skylight had shifted. The fire department later confirmed the ceiling had sunk a full three inches. I think it's safe to say that this is a very unusual winter and these conditions cannot always be foreseen. In Manchester, a roof cleaning crew scrambled to Gosler Park Elementary after school officials, already on snow load alert, found cracks in the walls. Our cautious vibes are up given what happened at Milford High School this morning. It's that same sentiment pushing Auburn to call up a regiment of shovel volunteers before more snow starts to fall. We'll shovel some off the roof, shovel some off the ground, uh, and try and make it a, a safer place. Any adults who want to help out here in Auburn should get here by 9 a.m. tomorrow morning and bring their own shovels. Again, there are no structural issues with the Auburn Village School. They're just trying to be proactive. Reporting live in Auburn, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.